Hey, Zach with Real Property Associates here. I am refilming my home buying videos. You might have seen some of my older videos. I didn't like the quality on those as much, so wanted to refilm them, add a little bit of fresh content. My, my goal with these videos is ultimately to educate you on the home buying process. You might have bought a home 10 years ago. You might have bought a home three years ago. Things are always changing. Some things do remain the same. So what I wanna do is I want to systematically walk through the home buying process in seven steps so that you have a good idea of what you're getting yourself into um, as you start to look for a home. We're gonna talk about step number one in the home buying process. Step number one, I like to call this getting educated. This could mean meeting with me as a real estate professional, and this can also mean looking at homes online, driving around neighborhoods. Most people, when they start their home search out, actually start it online. 90% statistically start looking at homes on sites like Zillow, Redfin, Trulia, to learn about the different neighborhoods, especially if they're not from the Seattle area. And then driving those neighborhoods is really helpful. Also looking at different neighborhoods around the city. So I talk about Seattle a lot, but really when I say Seattle, I really mean Seattle and the suburbs surrounding Seattle. And I even mean the, the east side, Bellevue, Kirkland, Redmond. The market on the east side is a little different. So let's just stick on that. We'll just, when I say Seattle, I mean Seattle itself. But drive around, explore. Familiarize yourself with how much money you can spend in each neighborhood to get the kind of house that you want. You might need to spend um, a little bit more to live in the neighborhood you want, or you need to spend or oh, buy a different kind of house. You might need to buy a condo if you want to live in, say, Queen Anne versus if you were to buy a house in Edmonds. So the different neighborhoods all have different price points. The different cities surrounding Seattle have different price points. And so really what you want to do is get a good framework for how much money gets you how much house in which neighborhoods and then come up with your list of priorities and we'll talk about that in one of the upcoming videos. 